Taxman's plan for covert raids on family bank accounts is branded illegal, extremely worrying and excessive. Experts have branded plans to give the taxman the power to raid individual bank accounts without their permission extremely worrying, excessive and potentially illegal. The unprecedented access, revealed in the budget statement, could result in money being taken from innocent families, MPs were told yesterday. The powers were outlined as part of the measures to clamp down on tax avoidance. They would allow HMRC to seize unlimited amounts of money directly from the bank accounts of anyone they believed owes more than £1,000 in tax. HMRC claims the new rules will be used to target ruthless tax dodgers. I missed this first time round, but it makes you think just what exactly goes through George Osborne's brain, apart from cocaine. He wants to make it so that if you owe the tax man over a thousand pounds, they can dip into your account as and when they like and steal that money. Does he think that nobody has a brain like him? Does he know that people have a memory and despite what he's told by his paymasters, does he know that people still can read? So while Osborne looks like having a battle on his hands to get his draconian new stealing system through, it's worth looking back at a few articles that have surfaced whilst Osborne has been Chancellor. So, Osborne has let the banks off 19 billion in future taxes. Osborne has let Vodafone off at least 6 billion in taxes. Amazon, they turned over £7 billion and paid zero tax. Google, they avoided £218 million in tax. Osborne hasn't collected taxes in three to four years from Starbucks. And I'm sure there are more and more companies like this as well that we just don't even know about. So collectively, because politicians are bought and paid for by corporations and not people... Osborne has let big business off with over, I don't know, adds up to what, over £26 billion in taxes? How many accounts would he have to steal a £1,000 from in order to match the £26 billion plus that he's let big business off? I don't know, but it's a bloody lot. Remember that bloke Margaret Hodge? Well, he was chairman of some select committee grilling these companies on not paying tax. Remember, it was a year or two ago. You had Starbucks, Google and Amazon grilled over tax avoidance. He gave them a good grilling. So much so that the treasury that set up the little tax avoidance schemes for big business wasn't very happy. Then it turned out that Mr. Hodge's family company paid just 0.01% tax on over 2 billion of business generated in the UK. What a hypocrite Mr. Hodge is. You see, they're all at it. Doesn't this show, if you needed any more showing, that the UK government are not doing anything for the people, apart from introducing the bedroom tax, of course. If they collected the outstanding tax from big business, approximately 26 billion plus, and I'm sure it's a hell of a lot more than that, Look what we could do with that money. We aren't all in this together. They are in it with big business. And they simply do not give a shit about the people. But then, as a people, we put up with it. Because EastEnders is on.